Hello dear pilots. In this video I will show you how to use MCDU menu, for JAR Design 320 aircraft. To operate with these menu, you may use MCDU screen widget, or 3D cockpit MCDU device. Let's click MCDU menu button and discuss every point there. First point is packs and cargo. When you click on it, payload widget appear. You may increase or decrease number of your passengers, in the forward cabin and backward cabin. Also, you may set forward and backward cargo weight. Indication in the right side show actual center of gravity, actual payload weight, and THS angle for takeoff. Next point is ground handling and towing operation. With this menu you can operate with ground power unit, chokes, stowaways, fuel car, and catering tracks. Also you may control towing operation there. Please check, what your parking brakes is set. I want to select chokes, and ground power unit, they are, up here. Next we want to call fuel car, fuel car will drive up, next it will connect to aircraft tank, and fuel panel will appear on the screen. You may select needed fuel and start refueling procedure. Next, I want to call stairs and catering tracks. When you click on packs and cargo, payload widget appear, and you may operate it with the same way. Refueling is complete, I should drive away fuel car. If you need to remove all ground handling cars, you may just turn off your parking brake. Now let's talk about towing. To start towing procedure, you need click call button. Car will appear and will drive to aircraft noise wheel. Next, it will connect to be ready to start towing. We are ready for towing, and I may click drive button. You may turn it left or right with this buttons. Click drive button one more time to stop car. To disconnect towing track, I will click call button again. Next point, is the doors operation. You may select any door, to open or close it. 
No I want to open all doors, at the right side of aircraft. Next point, is the fuel. You may use this point, if you needed fuel, but don't want to call fuel track. You will see fuel widget, where you may select needed fuel, and refuel aircraft. Sound volume allow you to set sound parameters. You may decrease, and increase volume here. Last point here, settings, I will explain all details for you. First of all, you may change engines type, you may switch from CFM, to Pratt & Whitney, please note, what this option switch only 3D model, no fly performance change. Also, you may change the wingtips type, from classic to modern Neo. Next option, allow you to set pause at the top of descent point. Simulator will pause when your aircraft will be close to top of descent. Very useful for long flights. Shake camera, is the visual effect, what can imitate cockpit shake, during flight. Next option, is display reflection. I will show you how this work. You may turn off, or turn on display reflection, using this option, and also, using clickable zone, between two monitors. So, welcome to the next page. First option, allow you to turn on, or turn off 3D model of SATCOM device, placed at the top of fuselage on modern aircraft. Second option, is for TCA Quadrant users, Thrust Engine Controller by Thrustmaster. You need turn it on, if you use this hardware device. With load with MCDU, you can select, is MCDU screen widget will appear, just after aircraft loading, or not. With next setting, you may select flight control unit manipulator style. Style number 1, allow you to use mouse scroll to rotate FCU knobs, use left mouse button to push knobs, and right mouse button, to pull knobs. This control style work with barrow knobs, vertical speed knob, altitude knob, heading and speed knob. Another manipulator style, number 2, work with another way. This is more classic X-plane manipulator, and I just show you, how it may be used. This style is better for virtual reality. Next option, for users. Who want to set one off joystick axis, on ground spoilers control. If I set it on, I may switch ground spoilers handle position using joystick axis. If I turn this option off, I may control this handle with keyboard and mouse in 3D cockpit. That was common information about MCDU menu options and settings. Please note, this options may be changed from version to version. That's all for now. See you soon.